Question 11. Suppose a problem A is NP complete and problem B is in NP but not necessarily NP complete. Which of the following statements are true? One, there's a, poly, a polynomial time algorithm for A. Uh, implies that, that P is the same as NP. Two, a polynomial time algorithm for B implies that P is equal to NP. And three, a polynomial time algorithm A implies a polynomial time algorithm for B. Let's take a careful look at this here. The key to this is understanding the relationships of all this P, NP, NP complete. Basically, there's a set of problems that are solvable in polynomial time. <clears throat> and then there's a set of problems that are solvable in non non-deterministic polynomial time. And uh, there's also a set of problems that are the hardest of these. These are called uh, NP-complete. And I'll put NP-complete. So the set of problems that are non-deterministic polynomial time solvable are NP problems, but they're called NP complete because they're the hardest ones and they can be reduced to each other. NP hard are problems that are possibly NP and possibly not NP. Anyway, that's not part of this problem. We won't go into a discussion of PNP right now, but I mean, not a broad discussion of it. But basically, let's take a look at this. Your problem A is not is NP complete. That's problem A. We have problem B is an NP. Now, uh, a polynomial time algorithm for A implies P and NP are the same. And in, in other words, all these NPs are the same. So, because the NP, the hardest problems in NP, NP complete ones, are there. So one is definitely true. Let's mark that off. One is true because if there were a polynomial time algorithm for A, then we know that all of these problems, P, N, P, and all of them, they're all the same. They have the polynomial time solutions for all of them. Now, <clears throat> number two says a polynomial time algorithm for B implies P is NP. Well, no, it doesn't really because there's still these problems that are NP complete. So, no, this one's not true. And uh, then three, a polynomial time uh, algorithm for A implies that there's a polynomial time algorithm for B. Well, if there is a polynomial time algorithm for A, then, then there's going to be a polynomial time algorithm for all these. We just, we just talked about that here. So that's going to be true. So now let's look at our answer sheet. We have A is 1 only, B is 2 only, C is 1 and 2. None of those are right. D is 1 and 3, and E is all three of them. The answer? The answer to question 11 is D.